sprinting seems to consistently move on and yet you're always right at the top of it. So what's been the secret to your consistency right at the high end? Oh, there's been a huge amount of my career. It's been 10, 11 years on the international stage and uh, I don't think I've ever stopped learning. Just uh, continuously understanding more about myself and how I go about my race and, and you know, it's like you, you just said, 53 is, is getting bigger and bigger and deeper and deeper. And that's thanks to Cam McAvoy, who has just completely revolutionized the way you can train. And uh, that is great because it puts sprinting in the limelight, but it's also tough because now so many young guns are going to come through and give it a good go. But a big motivation for me is not about the medals or the success, but it's just about uh, longevity and, and consistency throughout my career. And uh, I said I want to be top five in the world for every year that I'm swimming. And, and I feel like I'm you know, somewhere around that, but uh, you know, 29 now, going to be turning 30 soon. And there's lots of people out there who have pushed on in their 30s. So um, yeah, it's just trying to make it. So I, lo I love the sport and uh, trying to keep that going. What does that swim mean for the rest of your season? Because that's astoundingly fast this early on in the year. Yeah, I mean, no matter what happened, this swim, was, this this competition was always going to be a, a platform for my next progression. You know, give me direction to what I need to work on, and uh, it's it's confirmed a lot of things that I'm doing and and the way that I rest and the way that I go about my preparation. So it's confirmed a few things, but you know, to be honest, there's still a lot of work to go, and there's no getting excited because it's only March. We have many months to go, and, and many people to swim their meets. Well, best of luck in Paris. Thank you.